Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we will be understanding Weighted Average Cost of Capital, also known as WACC. Weighted Average Cost of Capital represents a company's cost of capital with each category of capital like equity shares, uh, preference shares, debentures, retained earnings, bonds, proportionately weighted. WACC can be calculated by multiplying the cost of each capital source by its relevant weight in terms of market value or book value weights, then adding the results together to determine the total cost of capital. It is commonly used as a hurdle rate against which companies and investors can gauge the desirability of a given project or acquisition. WACC is also used as the discount rate for future cash flows in discounted cash flow analysis. So, in today's video, we will be doing a question on WACC by using Excel application. So, here is a question. A limited company has the following structure. Equity share capital, 2 lakh shares, 40 lakhs is the total amount. It means that one share is of rupees 20. 6% preference share capital, where 6% is the preference dividend rate and total preference share capital is 10 lakhs. 8% debentures of rupees 30 lakhs. 8% is the before cost of debt given to us. Before cost of debt, matlab, cost of debt before tax. The market price of the company's equity share is rupees 20. It is expected that company will pay current dividend of rupees 2 per share. So D1 is given to us. It will grow at 7% forever. So G is also given to us. The tax may be presumed at 50%. So we have a tax rate of 50% in this question. You are required to compute the following. So here, we have a uh, we need to calculate weighted average that is WACC based on existing capital structure and then we have uh, a revision to this that is a new weighted average cost cost of capital needs to be ca calculated if the company raises an additional 20 lakh rupees debt by issuing 10 percent debentures so we were already having 8 percent debentures of 30 lakhs and now we are additionally raising 20 lakhs debentures by uh, at 10 percent rate this would result in increasing the expected dividend to rupees 3 which was earlier 2 and leave the growth rate unchanged so our growth rate will remain 7 percent and our share price will fall to 15 rupees though 40 40 lakhs is the amount which is remaining same but price of each share is now different and it is now 15 rupees per share so here we have the old and the new data so as per the old we are having equity share capital of rupees 40 lakhs six percent preference share capital of rupees 10 lakhs eight percent debentures of rupees 30 lakhs corporate tax rate given to us as 50 percent Price of equity share, one equity share is rupees 20. Equity dividend is rupees 2. Growth rate is 7%, right? So this information is given to us. Apart from that, we know that in order to calculate WACC, we need to calculate cost of each source of capital. So let's start with calculation of cost of equity first. Now, as per the given information, we are given the expected dividend, price of the share, and also the growth rate. Based on that, we can use the dividend price plus growth approach in order to calculate the cost of equity. So cost of equity is D1 upon P0 plus G. So these two are separate terms. First, we need to calculate D1 upon P0 and then add growth rate to it. So based on this, we can calculate it here easily. So for you, I can zoom it a bit. 
So that is C30, that is price, uh, sorry, 2, equity dividend divided by 20 plus growth rate, that is 7%. So we uh, have taken the cell referencing here and by clicking on enter, we can get our cost of equity as 17%. Cost of preference share is given to us as 6%. Cost of debentures is 8%, uh, but it is before tax. We need to calculate it after tax. And for calculating the cost of debentures after tax, uh, we can take cost of debentures before tax into 1 minus T. So here we can calculate it like 8% into 1 minus your tax rate that is 50 percent and if you calculate it you will get four percent as your cost of debt six percent is cost of preference shares now in order to calculate weighted average cost of uh, capital on the basis of book values as we have no information about the market value we can do it with the following table so source of capital book value weights specific cost and composite cost. As per the formula, WACC is calculated by multiplying weights with the specific cost. That is cost of debt into weight of debt plus cost of preference share into weight of preference share plus cost of equity into weight of equity plus cost of retained earnings into uh, cost of uh, weight of retained earnings. Similarly, if you have other sources also, the process remains the same. So here, the source of capital, as per the old structure, we are having equity share capital, preference share capital, and debentures. So we have listed down this. Apart from that, we, have the, we are given the book values of each. So this is the book value given to us. And with the help of the sum function, we have calculated the total of our capital structure. So when we add all the sources of capital, that is 40 lakhs plus 10 lakhs plus 30 lakhs, we get 80 lakhs as a total book value or total capital structure. With this, we can calculate the weight of each source in our capital structure. So weight of equity in the total capital structure is 40 lakhs divided by 80 lakhs, that is 0.5. So here you can calculate that also by uh, using cell referencing. So I have divided... 40 lakhs by 80 lakhs in order to get the uh, weight of equity share capital. In order to get the weight of preference share capital, 10 lakh divided by 80 lakhs. In order to get the weight of debentures, 30 lakhs divided by 80 lakhs. Weights we have now. And total of weights should be 1. Then only we can proceed ahead. Right? So, uh, it means that in the total capital structure of 80 lakhs rupees, 0.5 is the weight of equity share capital, 0.125 is the weight of preference share capital, and 0.375 is the weight of debentures. Specific cost, we have already calculated the individual cost of each source. So for equity share capital, we have calculated 17%. So I have just taken the cell referencing of it. Similarly, for preference share, it is 6% given to us. And debentures, we have calculated 4%. Now we just need to multiply the weight of equity with the cost of equity, weight of preference share into cost of preference share, weight of debt into a uh, cost of debt in order to calculate, get the composite cost. And when we get the composite cost of each source, we will add them up in order to get our WACC. So in this case, our WACC is equal to 10.75% which is also our discount rate or our hurdle rate. So this is how we have calculated the WACC here. Now in the question it is mentioned that uh, we need to calculate a new WACC if additional 20 lakhs is being are being raised by issuing 10% debentures and we have certain changes in our structure. So, uh, equity share capital remains of 40 lakhs only, but price of each equity share is now 15. 6% preference share is same, 8% debentures is same. We have a new addition that is 10% debentures of rupees 20 lakhs. Everything remaining same, 
price of equity share is now changed to 15 equity equity dividend is now 3 but our growth rate is constant that is 7% based on this information we will repeat our progress so cost of equity as we have certain changes therefore our cost of equity will be changing so now it will be d1 upon p0 plus g the formula remains the same but d1 is now 3 instead of 2 and p0 is now 15 instead of 20 plus g that is 7 percent remains the same so this is how by using the cell referencing we have entered our data in order to calculate the cost of equity similarly cost of preference share remains the same as we have no changes in that and cost of 8 percent debentures will remain same but cost of 10% debentures will differ as we have new information regarding them. That is 10% uh, into 1 minus tax rate, just like we calculated cost of 8% debentures. Uh, after tax, we will be calculating cost of 10% debentures after tax. So it is 5%. Now, in order to calculate WACC as per the book value basis, again, we have this table where we are having close of capital, book value, weights, specific cost, cost composite, composite cost. And now in our capital structure, we have an additional source that is this 10% debentures is the additional source we, source we are having. So 40 lakhs, 10, 000, 10 lakh, 30 lakhs remain same. And we have additional 20 lakhs of this source given to us. Similarly, uh, the total is 1 crore. And in this capital structure of 1 crore, 0.4 is the uh, weight of equity share capital, 0.1 is preference share capital, 0.3 is debentures of 8% coupon rate, and 0.2 is 10% debentures. So if you just get the sum of it, you should be getting 1. So enter. This is 1. Specific cost, we have already calculated. Cost of equity is 27%. So we have taken it from here. Cost of preference share remains unchanged. Cost of 8% debentures will remain unchanged. And cost of 10% debentures will now be 5% as we calculated in the case earlier. Now, composite cost can be calculated by weight into specific cost. So we have calculated all this and we have added it up. So in when we are raising additional 20 lakh rupees using 10% debentures, our WACC becomes what? 13.6%. So this is how we calculate WACC. Now, this question only talks about the book value weights. There can be questions where uh, you have to calculate uh, by using both book value weights and market value weights and then do the comparison. So uh, that question is also very important. So I hope you understood the question. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.